Strikes in the mix. Miles with the rebound. She's going to push. All the way to the hoop. Day in the life. Let's see if you really trap. Turn off the auto tune. Let's hear how you really rap. Ha ha. Send a, send a location. Come burn up, boy, if you're bad. Let's see. Your dad left home from young and you ain't done. But your mom, our oh, man, our oh, man. How you relying on man like Gal? You're mad. You must have mad. You ain't never sat in a trap with a pack. Hear the doorbell ring and your heartbeat lag. Can't keep track. Been in the trap. It's hard. I can't keep up. Keep up. Selling them party. I'm the one that got the party ton. Day in the life. So, what does a normal day look like for you? Um, usually we'll have practice or weights at about 6 a.m. Practice will start about 7. We'll be in there for about two and a half hours. They're intense, very intense. We do a lot of running, <laughs> definitely a lot of running and a lot of hard work. Um, we take pride in defense, so a bunch of defensive drills. Um, and then go to class. I feel like as an athlete, it it drives me more in the classroom. It makes me want to do better. It makes me want to be the best at whatever I do. So I want to win in the classroom as much as I want to win on the court. Um, go to study hall at some point. I do eat in those times too, so I get breakfast and lunch. I'll be shooting a lot of shots, shooting a lot of jumpers, shooting a lot of threes, working on my handles, making decisions. Transition from high school to college, um, Everyone's good. It's not just me good. Everyone's good. We're all working for the same goal. So it's just hard, you know, we're all trying to be the best. Miles with the rebound. She's going to push with a great dish. Eddie Flyers. Now stolen. Miles comes up with it. She's going to press. All the way to the hoop. Um, well, Franklin County, the high school I went to, uh, they take pride in grit. Like you have to be, you have to be strong to go there. You have to, you know, they they produce hard workers in the classroom, on the court, on the field, whatever you're doing there. And they expect excellence, so that's just something I've carried with me. My name is Joey Thacker, and I've coached at Franklin County uh, for 22 years, and I've coached for 28 years. And I feel like that we've been fortunate enough to have a lot of kids in our program that um, are real gritty. Well, you know, as a player, Brooklyn was relentless. Um, you know, her energy and her ability to make everybody else miserable on the other team with her speed and tenacity was probably her strongest suit. You know, she wasn't the biggest kid in the gym, but she had the most impact because she has uh, tremendous speed. And when, you know, when she's aggressive and, and she can disrupt a lot of things for the opponent. Uh, as a person, you know, she's sort of opposite of that. You know, she's sort of laid back and not necessarily somebody that likes a big crowd or, you know, all the attention. She just likes to play and likes to hang out. You know, the, fer the versatility and the ability to do multiple things uh, is really, really important. Uh, what is one person who has helped you and supported you through your, throughout your career? Um, I would say my dad, my father, for sure. He's always been my right hand, whether that's on the court, off the court. My dad's a personal trainer, so we were in the gym 24-7, like before school, after school. It didn't matter what time it was. We were always in the gym. Uh, my job is fun, interesting. Uh, I love it. The game of basketball is something I've always loved to do. Uh, I've been personal training for somewhere around 10 years. Uh, specifically basketball for the last five. I'm working through the power of God. This is my talent that I've been given and my talent back to God, or my gift back to God is me helping as many people as I can. Uh, Brooklyn is definitely a competitor. Her tenacity level is through the roof. We both have the father-daughter relationship along with us trying to you know, get together with the trainer player relationship. Uh, Brooklyn's changed my life tremendously. Uh, from the day she was born, I was only a sophomore in college, so it kind of uh, made me immediately get more disciplined. It made me really take life serious. So Brooklyn had changed my life uh, tremendously. How do you feel about Brooklyn transferring to Kentucky? I'm excited. It's BBN, of course. So 
We definitely, uh, this is where we grew up, you know what I mean? So we've been a part of Big Blue Nation forever. Uh, happy to come home, excited. It's nerve-wracking at first. My first ever college game, I was nervous. Um, I still get nervous sometimes, but you really just have to live in the moment. Give myself positive thoughts, give, talk to myself positively, just to get the anxiety out, whatever. Uh, roll another one. <laughs> She like the way that I dance, she like the way that I move, she like the way that I rock, she like the way that I woo. She like Michael Mary, Michael Mary, Billy Jean, Billy Jean, uh, Christian Dior, Dior, I'm up in all the stores. When it rains, it pours. She like the way I heard. Like a Mary, like a Mary. Billy Jean, Billy Jean. Uh, Christian Dior, Dior. I'm up in all the stores. When he raised the balls, she like the way I heard. When I walk in the spot, throw the Yomi, buy the club, you know that I'm paid. I'm a. Uh -huh.